Welcome to another adventure in the central California foothills. Today we are searching for Miwok bedrock mortars in an attempt to locate historic Miwok village sites. Well, Phil and I are here along the Stanislaus River at a place called Two Mile Bar. And if you look down there towards the river and the flat area, looks like a perfect place for a Miwok village to have once been. Based on my old map, I think this is the place too. We'll see if we can find some more direct evidence that in fact the Miwoks had a settlement here. Certainly the uh, research concerning history at Two Mile Bar shows that there was a mining camp here at one time. There's some remnants of it still here, some old rock walls. Most of it had been washed away by a massive flood that occurred many years ago. Here's an interesting stone structure that we found on the edge of the valley up the hill just a little bit. We don't know what this was. Looks like perhaps it was some sort of a storage room at one time. Here's a definite bedrock mortar. Doesn't look too appealing because it's filled in with water right now, which has gone sort of stagnant. Move around. And just next to it, this is sort of interesting. See that hole right there? That's been excavated. Someone's been doing some gold panning. We're right next to the river. Cody's having a good time collecting some sticks in the river. Now she's going to want to come up and shake all over the place. Thanks a lot. She's having a good time. The exact location of the main Miwok village can't be confirmed at this time because the accuracy of some of the existing information is questionable. For example, I happened upon two old gold miners doing some panning down the river near Knights Ferry. Now they told me of a significant number of bedrock mortars further up the river on the north side at a distance that would put the mortars at just about the two mile bar area. However, the person who owns the property on the north side told me that he had never seen any bedrock mortars on that side of the river. And Krober's 1919 map shows a village location on the north side of the river, but there are no other archeological records that either document bedrock mortars or a Miwok village on that north side. The south side of the river does at least have some bedrock mortars that are clear physical evidence that at least some sort of Miwok settlement was there. There is also some circumstantial evidence that the south side of the river is a more likely site for a village. For example, most of the relatively level ground on the south side is 10 to 30 feet higher than on the north side. Therefore, and you know, at least from a flood avoidance standpoint, the south side would be much more desirable. Another advantage of the south side is that the Miwoks would have to travel only two-tenths of a mile to get out of the narrow canyon to a much wider hunting environment. On the north side, however, the Miwoks would have had to hike at least a half a mile to reach an open hunting area. Another factor to consider is how the river may have changed in the last 166 or more years. For example, there was a massive flood along the Stanislaus River in 1862. This flood wiped out the mining camps at Two Mile Bar and Six Mile Bar. It also washed away about half of Knight's Ferry. So, as a result of past flooding and modern dams along the upper river, it's possible that the elevation and size of the livable land has significantly changed at Two Mile Bar. It's also possible that the depth and width of the river is now different. And depending on these variables, it might even have been favorable for the Miwoks to live on both sides of the river. 